Truly this nation is one nation. Your nation is one nation. And I am your Lord. So worship me. Glad tidings. Bushra. To those who fasted on the day of Arafah. Yaqulu sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Su'ila Rasulullah sallallahu and so Arafa, Kala, you come for the Senate and Maldia, with Baqia. The Prophet, peace be upon him, was asked about the fast of Arafa. And he said, it wipes away the sins of the preceding year and the current year. Bushra, glad tidings. To those on Hajj, they have finished staying in Mina. They have gone to Arafat, made dua, worship Allah. They have returned now to Mina, to Mecca, where they are stoning shayateen, where they are clipping their hair, where they are sacrificing, making tawaf of their father. Glad tidings to them and glad tidings to those who stood on the mountain on the day of Arafah. Aisha radiallahu anha reports 
أن رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم قال ما من يوم أكثر من أن يعتب الله فيه عبدا من الناس من يوم عرفة. There is the Prophet peace be upon him has said there is no day on which Allah sets free more worshippers from hellfire than he does on the day of Arafat. The Hujjaj are following the example not only of the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, but they are following the example of Nabi Ibrahim alayhi salam. Khalilullah, friend of Allah, and Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has revealed to us Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Inna Ibrahima kana ummatan qanitan lillah hanifan wa lam yakum min al-mushrikeen shakinan li anhum hijtabahu wa hadahu ila sirat al-mustaqeem Surely Ibrahim was a true example a nation unto himself obedient to Allah upright and he was not of the polytheists he was grateful for Allah's favors Allah chose him and guided him on the right path Ibrahim is an example for us to ponder on today think about Ibrahim he was a nation unto himself. And so today, in this world, every Muslim, male and female, should make a pledge to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that if all the Muslims are gone, if there is nobody left except me, then I will stand, I will hold onto the rope of Allah azza wa jal. Ibrahim alayhi salam was qanitan lillah muti'ah he was obedient to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala he followed the commands of Allah and he avoided the prohibited things he was hanif a pure upright soul he was muwahid he believed in one God and he practiced this in everything that he did. And he avoided polytheism under all circumstances. But the essence of Ibrahim alayhi salam, his sincerity, he was sincere to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And this is critical for Muslims. The Prophet sallallahu has told us at the end of time, after this man, there will emerge a people who will be young in age and foolish. Ahdath al Aslam, Sufaha al Ahlam. They will recite the Quran, but it will go no further than their collarbones. Yakra'un al Quran, la yujawizu tarafihim. They will quote the words of the best of mankind, but they will pass out of Islam like an arrow passes through its prey. And so we have to avoid uncontrolled emotions, extremism. We have to hold ourselves despite the pressure that is upon us. We don't fight evil with evil. The Prophet Sallallahu when he would send his followers out, he would tell them, Bashiru wa la tu nafiru, yassiru wa la tu asiru. Give glad tidings. Don't drive people away. Make Islam easy. Don't make it difficult. 
O you who believe, Eid Day is a day of reflection, to fakko, to amul, reflect upon ourselves, reflect upon the bounty of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In Canada, the first recorded Muslims by Canadian census were recorded in 1871. John and Martha Simon. And then there were only 17 Muslims on record in Canada. But by 1971, there were 33,000 Muslims recorded on the records in Canada. And then economic migration. By 1981, there were 98,000 Muslims in Canada, and this included teachers, professionals, business people. And then a large influx came in. By 1991, 235,000 Muslims. A large influx. And then Muslims began to have babies. We had more babies than any other part of the population of Canada. By 2001, the number of Muslims reached 579,740, 2% of the population. By 2006, the number increased 783,700, 2.5% of Canadian population. But the number increased by 2011, 940,000 Muslims on record. And we know that the actual number is twice that number. In the GTA, 250,000 Muslims, 10% of the population of the GTA. It is uh, projected by the year 2030, our, our numbers will triple. And we will be, inshallah, 2.7 million on the record books. But in reality, we may reach more than 5 million people. But the question is, with the numbers that we have, are we gaining respect? With the large amount of masjids and Islamic centers, are we really feeling the respect and dignity that Islam deserves? And so people are crying for change crying for change in North America, crying for change in the Middle East, crying for change. In some countries they said, the people want the system to come down. Some people are waiting for a Mahdi. We want change. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said very clearly, Allah will not change the condition of a people until they change that which is in themselves. The internal Muslim, inside of our hearts, we need to make this change while our people are suffering, while we need to have an opening the Prophet said, Inna fil jasadi mudha, ida salahat, salaha jasadu kullu, wa ida fasadat, fasada jasadu kullu, ala wa hi al khalq. There is a lump of flesh in the body. If it goes right, the whole body is right. If it is corrupted, the whole body is corrupted, and that is the heart. We have to make change. And so I want to leave you 
with 10 practical steps a manifesto for Muslim communities in the West. Number one, Ziyadu to Taqwa. We need to increase our closeness to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. That is the bottom line in all affairs. Number two, return to authentic sources. We cannot follow only our culture. Islam may be different than our culture. My culture and your culture may not be the same culture. But my Islam from Quran and Sunnah is the same as yours. Number three, focus on Islamic character. It's not what we do. It's not only that we make salat. What does salat do for us? It's not only that you fast in Ramadan. What did Ramadan do for us? It is the character of Islam that spread this religion all over the planet. And the Prophet is reported to have said, that verily I have been sent to complete the best in character. Number four, Wisdom and balance, al hikmah doing things at the right time. We have to avoid extremism. Not one extreme or another extreme, but ummat and wasata, the balanced nation. Number five of the 10-point manifesto, for Muslim communities in the West. Healthy, empowering families. We have to make our families strong. We have to keep our family together because the family is the basis of the whole society. If we have no families, then we have no future. Number six, Shura, mutual consultation. We have to discuss things. We have to have shura in our homes, shura in our masajid, shura in our nations. It is critical now that Muslims talk to each other and make decisions in jama'ah. And not one making decisions, but everybody like a dictator. Number seven. Cooperation and unity. We have to strive for operational unity amongst the Muslims. If we are divided, then we are nothing but buta asail, like a foam on the water. But if we are united, we are 26% of the Earth's population. We are the fastest growing religion in North America and around the world. Ta'awun, cooperation and unity. Number eight, special emphasis on the youth, young people. Young people should be part of the masjid, the Islamic center. Young people need to be in the leadership of Islam, not just in a youth conference, but leaders. That is how the Prophet Sallallahu was able to pass off leadership. Some of our masjids and Islamic centers, the leaders stay so long in power, you need a coup d'etat to take them out of power in the masjid. But the natural flow of things, as the Prophet Sallallahu has said, he surrounded himself with young people. So when it was time for the young people to take leadership, they were already in position. Number nine, empowerment of new Muslims. Those who are embracing Islam, this is your life blood. It is the new blood of Islam, which, was, which helped Islam to rise in Islamic history. Salahuddin al-Ayubi, rahimahullah, was not from Quraysh. He was Kurdish. Sultan Muhammad al-Fatiha, 
the opener of, of Istanbul, Constantinople. He was not from Quraysh. He was Turkish. New blood. We have to take care of the new Muslims. Not just give Shahada, but take care of them. And number 10, outreach. A dawah to Allah. And this outreach today is not words. It is based on actions, providing Islamic solutions to real problems in the world. Do it for Allah. Give to the homeless. Give to the needy. Not only Muslims, give to non-Muslims. If you are downtown in Toronto and you see the food bank, give sadaqa to the food bank. Do it for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and show the society the mercy of Islam. Oh, you who believe, Eid Day is a day of remembrance. As we leave these grounds and go to our families and friends, do not forget your brothers and sisters who are suffering in refugee camps, who are languishing in prisons, who are dying at sea in the Mediterranean, who are suffering in deserts, who are locked out and discriminated against in the large urban cities. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring peace and justice to Syria, to Egypt, to Palestine, to Somalia, to Bangladesh, to Pakistan, to Nigeria, to Mali, Indonesia, Philippines, and the whole of the Muslim world. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bring peace and comfort to those who are suffering in the Muslim world. And may Allah give us the strength to use our wealth, use our talents to assist those who are in need. May Allah give us the strength to use our ability and our understanding of Islam to stay away from corruption, to stay away from evil. But when we cover ourselves in times where people are taking off their clothes, it sounds strange. When you go to the bank and you refuse to take the interest, you're strange. When Friday night comes and they're drinking alcohol and they're taking drugs and you refuse to take the drugs, you're strange. But I give glad tidings to the strangers. Because the Prophet said, Inna Islam Islam began strange and it will return to being strange. So glad tidings to the strangers. They said, Ya Rasulullah, who are the strangers? And he said, Alladina Yuslihuna in the Fasad and Nas. They are those people who repair themselves. They rectify society when the people have become corrupted. So Daqa Rasulullah that time has come to pass. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make us of the Huraba. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the children of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect the women of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala protect and guide the men of the Ummah of Muhammad sallallahu May Allah raise up a leader in the Muslim world to take our foolish leaders from darkness into light. And may Allah help us that our last words will be coming on la ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam aqilu qawli hadha wa astaghfirullah bi wa lakum. Alhamdulillah, Al-Fardu Samaj, Alhamdulillah, Al-Wahid Al-Ahad, Al-Fardu Samaj, Al-Ladhi Lam Yalid Wa Lam Yulad, Wa Lam Yakul Lahu Kufu Wa Nahad, Wa Usalli Wa Usallam, Ala Qatim Al-Anbiya Wa Mursaleen, Nabiyana Muhammad, Wa Ala Alihi Wa Ashabihi Ajma'in, Wa Ya Ibadullah, Ittaqullah Haithu Ma Kuntum, ويقول صلى الله عليه وسلم 
inna likulli umma fitna wa fitna tu ummati al maaf Every nation has a trial and test. And the trial and test of this nation is wealth. Wa yaqul al haq subhana mukhbiran wa amina inna Allah wa malaikatu yusalluna ala al nabi ya ayyuha alladhina amanu sallu alayhi wa sallimu taslima Allahumma sallu wa sallam ala abdika wa rasulika muhammad wa ala alihi wa ashabi ajma'i warda allahu ala al-kunafa al-rashidin Abu Bakr, Umar, Uthman wa Ali wa anna bi rahmatik ila akhar rahimin alhamdulillah illa bi hadana li hadha wa ma kunna li nahtabia dhawna al hadana Allah wa bana taqabba qiyamana wa siyamana ربنا تقبل قيامنا وصيامنا ربنا تقبل قيامنا وصيامنا ربنا آتنا في الدنيا حسنة وفي الآخرة حسنة وقنا ذابنا اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين اللهم أعز الإسلام والمسلمين وذل الشرك والمشركين ودمير أعداء الدين وانصر عبادك يا رب العالمين اللهم اغفر للمسلمين والمسلمات والمؤمنين والمؤمنات الأحياء منهم والأموات برحمتك يا أرحم الراحمين اللهم لا تدع لنا ذنبا إلا غفرته ولا هما إلا فرجته ولا جيدا إلا قديته ولا بريدا إلا شفيته ولا ميتا إلا رحمته ولا حاجة من هوائج الدنيا إلا قديتها يا أرحم الراحمين لا إله إلا أنت سبحانك إنا كنا من الظالمين سبحان ربك رب العزة أما يسيبون وسلام على المرسلين والحمد لله رب العالمين وكل عام وعنتم بخير عيد مبارك والسلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته